All right, so one discipline. One, <laughs> one discipline that's carried with me for over 35 years of my career. Uh, yeah, 37 years this year. Uh, I, I, truthfully, I know exactly what it is. All right, so I start each and every day with a clear list of exactly what the demands of that day are. That could be 12 to 25 different items. And before I do anything whatsoever, I prioritize the first six things from that list. I make sure and prioritize them literally one, two, three, four, five, six. And if I am able to achieve those six things, then I, then I feel like it's a, been a, a a day in which I made some smart investments in my life, in my career, all right? So every single day you start with clarity as to what that day demands from you, and then you prioritize that list and target the very first six items, all right? So this requires aim, and we get back to that theme. If we'll target, if we'll aim, if we'll target, if we'll, we'll aim, if we'll target, if we will aim, then there is just well, we give ourselves a real opportunity to succeed. And there's something great about that sensation of, I targeted this thing and I achieved it. That's just wonderful for, you, for the human condition. So the way that I do my system, the very same system that I was doing 37 years ago. Um, so think about this. So if you, if you have a numerical system on your computer, in which you use the numerical date in which you're working, then when you look at that file, which mine is just simply called action items, you're going to be looking at that numerically from January 1st through December 31st. So my system goes something like this. Let's say that I was creating an action item or an action list for Christmas of 2019 that file date would very specifically be 12, 25, 19 action items. Now, when I drop that into my file on my laptop and I open that file, I have this beautiful chronology from 0101.19 all the way through 12.25.19. And I don't have to go searching and pecking and searching and pecking for the individual things if I'm ever, ever in a situation where I have to figure that out. The system that we're talking about gives you this phenomenal flexibility. Think about it. you can cut and you can paste and you can copy and in newer technologies now, I'm able to take those items and move them over to OneNote and work on projects and things of that sort. It gives you this beautiful flexibility and keeps you efficient with your time, which has truthfully been one of those goals throughout my entire career. It's portable, you know, it goes with you. And so the same system that I was using, maybe even on, pa on a paper 35 years ago is identical to the system that I can drop into my phone now. And so it has this portability to it and just extra extraordinary uh, flexibility. And then the other thing about your kind of your to-do list, your action items every day is it gives you speed. You can get on with it. The worst thing that I want you to do, honestly, is to handwrite your lists because something about the additional work of handwriting and then starting over tomorrow and doing that again and again and again, there's just no quantifiable speed relating to that. And so this system will give you speed so that you can move from day to day to day to day, to day focusing on those things that um, are essential to you. All right. A couple of things that I really want to encourage you, all right? The notifications on your phone, could you just kill those? I, I literally mean that. What would life be like if you had no phone notifications? If you can get to that place, then I encourage you to move to that. Because one of the things that's killing your generation is momentum. I mean, think about the hundreds of distractions that you put up with every single day. 
because you didn't just simply go to your settings and change how your notifications work. So I don't get notifications on my phone. I don't have social media on my phone. I get emails to my phone. I get text messages and phone calls. So that may seem counterintuitive, especially to a generation younger than me. But maybe you could take this challenge on. Maybe you could just try it for 10 days or 30 days. Turn off all your notifications and see how the quality and the momentum of your work is affected. I think you'll be surprised by that. And honestly, on this whole issue, how would somebody excel if they don't have these daily aims? How would you even do that? So tapping into momentum is definitely your friend. I mentioned this in an earlier um, conversation that we were having, but one of the best pieces of advice that I got from one of my mentors, uh, Tom Turner, was just this, and I love this. A moment in time and a dollar, you can only spend those guys one time, once. You get no redos with time and money. And so really be particular. Precise is the right word about how and where you spend your time. And if you're creating a situation on a daily basis where you make it hard for you to slide into momentum, then reframe that, retool that, change that. Your life is calling to you and it needs more of you. It doesn't need distractions. Distractions are killing you.